Hi people, welcome back to the tutorial on how to hack Exploitable 2. Today we're going to look at port 6000. X11 is the service running on it. What is it? X11, also known as s -Hawk Server, is the display system for Linux. It provides the basic framework for a GUI-based environment going as a graphical user interface. The remote X11 server accepts connection from anywhere one can get an internet connection. It's responsible for access to the graphic cards, the input devices, and the display screen on either computer or wireless device. We're going to try to exploit this port because it's open using SSH. Let's crack on. First, let's confirm that um, X11 is a service actually running on port 6000. As you can actually see, it, that's the case. This is an earlier scan of a vulnerable machine. And uh, let's open a tab here and run the following command, SSH. Uh, this command uses capital letter X as a flag. Uh, this enables all ports forwarding. Uh, the application of forwarding is that uh, it opens a channel from the server back to the client. We're also providing a username, uh, one of the valid username on the, on, on the server, MSF admin, and uh, as well as the IP address of our um, it's exploitable uh, machine. So we run out and it does need a password and we know that the equivalent password also is MSF admin. And uh, this gives us a shell to the Metasploitable system um, with the MSF admin account, not the highest level of account, uh, but that's fine. Um, the other thing it does as well, um, this SSH command is um, it creates a dot x authority file and um, you can actually try and find out where it's located it should be in a it should be in a home directory here i precisely where we are so if we run the following command and uh, there is the the x authority um file here and essentially what it does is store credentials and cookies used by x and um, for authentication of x uh, sessions Anyway, so what we want to do here is usually to elevate the privilege in order to get root. So the good news is you don't require any complex script except using the following command, sudo su, and, uh, oh, sorry. Oh yeah, so um, who am I? It tells you we root the highest level of privilege. And um, um, well, okay, that's just uh, the details by the, the remote machine. So, um, I mean, that's it really. So, uh, it's a necessary session. It's by its very nature, the client is more trusted than the server. Um, this brings the tutorial to an end. I hope you have enjoyed it. It was very short and quick. Uh, any question then please stick in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.